are you looking for portfolio diversification diversified portfolios uh, comprised of different asset classes and also diversification within the same asset class is the need of the hour this will help you to achieve the zenith of investing professional wealth management companies fill this gap with a wide range of products and services exclusive to hnis in this video let us review one such product offered by marcellus called consistent compounders portfolio make wealth creation simple and accessible is their motto let's see whether their motto stand up to their performance or just a farce for attracting customers we are also going to compare it with mutual funds and see which is better option let's get started welcome to holisticinvestment.in first let us look at the company marcellus marcellus offers services like portfolio management service small case wealth basket and so on they aim to create wealth in the long run they do this by holding companies for a longer period with little or no churn this allow them to capture the magic of long term compounding and deliver superior returns their investment strategy involves three key points clean account capital allocation competitive advantage the asset under management is uh, 10108 crores and the average asset under management is 1.03 crores an overview of marcellus consistent compounders portfolio it invest in a concentrated portfolio of heavily moated companies they use two stage filter approach in the first stage they use a filter based approach to create an investable universe of uh, 25 to 30 stocks further it is screened and filtered using bottom up research thereby creating a sustainable portfolio of uh, 10 to 15 stocks this two stage filtration can drive healthy earnings growth over long periods let us look at the fund details uh, it comes under large cap funds the benchmark index is nifty 50 tri the minimum investment is uh, rupees 15 lakhs Uh, next we shall look at the sectorial holdings and market cap allocation uh, financial services weighs almost 35% of the total portfolio uh, it predominantly invest in large cap uh, weightage of uh, 88% uh, next uh, we shall look at the fee structure marcellus consistent compounders portfolio um, comes with zero entry load or exit load and uh, with no lock in it offers three fee structure fixed fee fixed fee of 2% or 1.5 1.5% per annum irrespective of reaching the hurdle rate or variable rate it charges 20% fee only if it reach the hurdle rate of 8% and the next one is hybrid fee it charges a standard rate of 1% or 0.75% per annum and thereafter 15% fee when reaching the hurdle rate of 12% the investors can choose any one among these three fee structure next we shall look at the performance track record mm, the performance data shown here is net of fixed fees and expenses charged uh, till 31st march 2023 uh, since inception and three year return are annualized and other period returns are absolute if you look at the table it is evident that it is volatile and also it could couldn't beat the index most of the time you could see the negative return in the short run as well in one year and three year uh, time frame marcellus consistent compounded pms has uh, considerably and consistently underperformed the index paying additional fees and hiring an expert fund manager is uh, is for beating the index and not getting beaten by the index the above metrics give us an uh, insight into the company and the product let us discuss those insights one by one the minimum investment amount is rupees 50 lakhs the portfolio is well diversified and spread spread across large and mid cap they follow twin, twin filter criteria while picking stocks there is a huge volatility in the fund in the short term period also it couldn't beat the index in the short term and medium term the long term return that is uh, since in inception the return is little convincing uh, marcellus consistent compounder uh, pms has de- delivered negative returns whereas the benchmark index has delivered positively in the 6 month and 1 year period 
under performing the index and delivering negative returns when the index has delivered positive returns are huge red flags Those who are new to stock market will avoid direct to equity they invest via mutual fund there is a question for higher volatility as the fund manager invest in a diversified portfolio so comparatively mutual funds are good than pms or direct equity investments in our earlier comparison with the benchmark index uh, nifty tri it is clear that it couldn't beat the index now to have a deeper understanding let us compare the return with a large cap fund with real time figures for comparison we have chosen canara robico blue chip equity growth fund the table here shows the fund value as on 30th april 2023 so a simple conservative large cap fund can deliver better better returns than marcellus consistent compounders pms a point to be noted here is all these values are pre tax returns when we consider capital gain tax the total return will be less and thereby the post tax return figure changes again in taxation pms is less tax efficient compared to mutual funds Now let us look at the tax calculation for both the investment. The current regime taxes long term capital gains at 10% with the basic exemption of uh, 1 lakh per uh, financial year while short term capital gains are taxed at 15%. Taxation under a mutual fund is deferred until when the investor exit the fund but whereas under PMS it will be taxed in the same financial year as and when there is a churn in the portfolio. This clearly shows that from a tax perspective mutual fund investments are better than PMS. In the returns table we saw that pre-tax return under both investments is similar but when we consider a post-tax return uh, there is no value addition for the risk taken under a consistent compound uh, portfolio. Mutual funds will give you good returns with less risk. If you want to really diversify over and above mutual funds and look for aggressive returns then please avoid marcellus consistent compounders portfolio and look out for a better and consistent performing pms or aif now let us look at the suitability uh, first you should check whether you fulfill the below criteria you have already invested in an equity investment and looking for diversification within the same asset class you have a high risk appetite you are ready to invest a minimum of 50 lakhs you have a longer time horizon for investment you aim for wealth creation in the long run without looking for any in between pay- payouts if you don't fit under any of these bullet points then you can stay away from pms altogether and opt for mutual fund which is a good option even if you fulfill all these criteria you can't bet on a losing horse there are still far better option in the market than marcellus consistent compounders in the same pms category our final verdict on marcellus consistent compounders investors who thrive on conservative earnings and growth over a longer period can go for mutual funds if you have invested enough with mutual funds and looking for the next level of risk and return then you can consider pms but definitely marcellus consistent compounders pms is not the one for you because it is consistently underperforming for the last 3 years nifty 50 tri gives better returns compared with marcellus consistent compounders pms on the whole if you have already invested in a wide range of assets and you are looking for diversification then you can consider a better pms than marcellus consistent compounders pms for your satellite portfolio it is wise to always take the help of a professional financial planner a detailed blog post on this topic is available in our website use the link in the description to read it hope you like this video If you have any questions related to this or any other investment option or related to your financial goal don't hesitate to book a free appointment with our financial planners the link to the free booking is given in the description box below also will you be interested to attend any insightful investment webinar then feel free to register for the upcoming enlightening investment webinar it is completely free the registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the 
description box. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up. Also, share it with your social circle. If you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel so far, please subscribe now.